No one will hear from those soldiers again. Then I'm safe to build my ship. And what's more, my brother is avenged. You have my thanks. I also rescued a prisoner. He should be on his way over. Thank the gods. You've done us a great favor. May your new ship bring you victory. I should get back to that strange woman and let her know what happened. I met the dead man's brother. Ah. So why did such a man go sailing in shark-filled waters? He was a pirate, and he set out to fight the soldiers who threatened his family. They sank his ship, leaving him to the sharks. That's nearly tragic. So how did you resolve the matter? That is what you do as a mystios. Resolve matters, right? The soldiers had already attacked the pirates. For the sake of justice, I returned that attack. I see. That answer is quite revealing of your character. Why are you concerned about my character? Something will come of it. Very soon, I suspect. But here, take this for now. Thank you. Though it sounds like you have more plans for me. Perhaps. You've proven you could survive the dangers of the ocean. But... What about an island of fire and smoke? I'd like to explore this strange island. Good. You're very nearly impressing me. Oh, really? I should be impressed. I would like to send you to an island of smoke and flame, but an associate of mine still has my key to the vault within. Without it, your trip would be in vain. Are they as strange as you? That's nearly amusing. My associate lives in the graveyard you visited for me earlier. He lives as a hermit. He'll have time to talk, even to you. I'll go reclaim your key.
favorite bird, you know. I'm here for the key to the vault. Now, what are you doing here? <laughs> That's nearly ridiculous. So you're telling me it's not here? I left it somewhere safe. It's near an abandoned camp on Egina Island. That doesn't sound very safe. How could it not be safe, surrounded by so many defenders? Why do I never get the easy jobs? Who knows? <laughs>
That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. It looks like I'll have to report you, Socrates. It's what a good citizen would do, right? Oh, very good. Although a bit preemptive without all the details, wouldn't you say? It was a joke. The real question is whether there is truth behind the joke, or if one's mind can be changed once the whole story is revealed. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, What's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. That's the thief. You won't escape. Are you the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught. But to have a Mystheus judge me... Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had the Drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. Any reason you pick this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. Did you steal the horse to use it or sell it? I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There is no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me, I feel shame for what I did. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family?
Have you decided what should be done? If he needs the horse more than the man he stole it from, let him keep it. It will do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? If the action was for a good reason, then he is in the right. So, in times like these, people like us get to determine the law. Many would believe a murder still deserves consequence. The people whose lives were saved would disagree. Then perhaps making choices that affect the most people for good is the correct path. Wouldn't you agree? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.